gorgeous. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and today I'm bringing you guys something a little bit different. If you saw the title and the thumbnail, you know it's a very exciting one. We've got a fully done convertible Mustang aero car, Coyote, and where I'm at today, Our Dream Auto. You can see them right there, Our Dream Restorations. They did the whole build. And we're gonna to talk to Manir today, he's the vice president here. And it's gonna be pretty exciting because they've basically completely transformed this car. And I'll be honest with you guys, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I have a very similar car, and I'm a little bit jealous of how this one turned out. Uh, this one got the Coyote, I'm still push rod. My car just got put together, just fired up. I do have other videos coming, got the first drive coming. All that stuff uh, is coming. But today, that's not what we're talking about. Today we're talking about this awesome, awesome 91 Mustang GT. Yeah. All right, so as you can see, you know, I love doing those little cinematics. This is a perfect car to do it with, but I've got the guy that was kind of the master behind the build, not the not the owner of the car, but got Manir here with me. Good to see you on the channel again. Hey guys, hi, hey Matt. Yep, good to see you. And uh, I think you painted a few cars here before that I have seen, yes. <laughs> particularly mine. I get kind of <laughs> excited about that. The most important one. Right? Oh yeah, well, but not today, but you're <laughs> right, but not today. So today we're talking about this one, and this is actually Blake's car. And he uh, he brought it to you guys. I mean, I can't remember what state it was in, but I know it did not look like this. You did a lot more than paint there, right? Right, right. So he picked up the car. It was his first car in high school. So he didn't get it new, but it was his first car. He drove it through high school. Then he went off to college. I don't know the specific details. He'll probably correct me later on something. Yeah, but. yeah. Actually, uh, he does have an Instagram. So if you want to see like older pictures of the car and stuff, I will throw his Instagram on the screen right here. You guys can check it out. He's got a few pictures of it. And we did see this car. I forgot. We've seen this car before here on the channel. So some people might already know what's under the hood, but we'll get to that. So he came in, first car at 16. Yeah, first car at 16, went to college, you know, started working. And the car sat in storage for about 15 years, I believe. Okay. And so basically he pulled it out of storage. We talked prior, but he pulled it out of storage in Florida, trailered it up here and dropped it straight off. It had been sitting in Florida in a storage unit for 15 years. Wow. And you know, he dro daily drove the car, it was used. So it was a daily driver from the yeah. time of 16 to whenever to went in storage? To whenever he parked it. Okay. Up. So it was, it was used up, but uh, it was a great platform to build a car. Body was in real good yeah. shape, no major rust. All the pieces were there. That's but, unusual for a Fox body. Right, right. <laughs> but, uh, Nothing. So it wasn't really modified before then, was it pretty much no, stock? pretty much stock. Okay, uh, that's very cool. He had a stereo in it and I believe that was it. It was otherwise stock and we had talked about rebuilding the factory 302, but mm -hmm. he was concerned he wasn't going to be happy with it. And so that kind of led to how far it's come with the Coyote engine. So now it's got a Gen 3 Coyote with a T56 Magnum. Oh wow, okay, that's the same transmission I got too, yeah. yeah. So he's gonna have the six speed. Now I remember on mine, the six speed, you could get two different types of gears for six. And I think I went with the more like highway. Um, well, I can't remember what the gear ratio is. You probably know, but which yeah, one did he get the more highway cruise? Yeah, I got the highway and then we did the 373 in the back. So we upgraded a 31 spline, went 373 and, and disc brakes. Okay. Actually, I'm glad you mentioned the 373 because I'd like to get your opinion on this. A lot of guys say you should go 410s even with a five speed. And I know I had 373s first with my five speed. And I like to drive on the highway and it was terrible in fifth gear. But I feel like with a six speed 373s for highway cruising is about right. Right, yeah. 373s on uh, this spec transmission are perfect. If you get a Viper spec T56, they have a little bit lower six gear and 410s are perfect. But on the T56 Magnum, like 373 in this combo is a, per is a perfect combo. Okay, so I didn't know about the Viper spec. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. So you said it's a Gen 3 Coyote. Yeah, so Gen 3 Coyote, and then it, you know, it has all the creature comforts, air conditioning, power steering. We went with the JLT cold air intake. We shaved the engine bay. Yeah, look at that bay. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I need to do this. This is like, yeah. I, I need this bad on my car. It, it really finishes off the build. We shaved a little, we didn't get crazy. He wasn't super concerned with the engine bay. So we did a basic shave. We shaved a little bit up on the front radiator support, then a little bit in the back firewall. 
Okay, and of yeah. Of course, you have to switch to the Hydro Boost brakes when you go right. for AOD. But it's not manual brakes, it's power oh, brakes. Yeah, and... it'll, throw, it'll throw you through the windshield. It's got bare brakes <laughs> on it. And oh, it, yeah, it, look at that, guys. It really stops well. Uh, it's still on the four lug setup, right? No, it's five lug. Oh, is it? Yeah, okay. So these are the 17 inch uh, ponies. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought they were just the stock ones. Nope, okay. So it's just a tick bigger, but bare, bare's front and back. That's no joke, and then bare brakes. Maximum motorsport suspension. And, and then on maximum mo motorsports coilovers, front and back. Oh, you got coilovers in the back too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. So you can really dial it in. Did he yeah. do like any uh, pan hard bar or, or any K member differences or anything like that? No, so no pan hard bar or torque arm. We do have aftermarket control arms in the back. And then up front, we have uh, maximum tubular K member and their tubular A arms. Okay. And so 373 C56 Magnum. Wow. So you guys did the suspension, you did the brakes, you yeah. did the engine, the transmission, did the paint, the interior. So in, originally, this interior was black, red, and white. And so he kept going back and forth if he wanted to go full black interior. Uh, okay. So anyway, he ended up keeping it pretty similar to what he had in high school, but we got rid of the red in the interior. Yeah. He wanted to keep it the two. Was that like the, uh, I guess, crimson red they call it, or some people call it porno red, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, it was the, I forget what shade of red okay. it was, but it wasn't the porno red. Okay. Um, but yeah, the carpet was red, the console, and part of the dash was red. Oh, really? Okay. And, uh, yeah, this, uh... So you guys put new door panels on too then, right? Yeah, we actually dyed these. Oh, did you? So these okay. are the original door panels and the original rear panels. Um, and then we got the new the new lower pieces from TMI. Did you have to do uh, the, anything with the seats? Yeah, or? so the seats are new TMI covers. No, oh, those are TMI covers, okay. And, and the new foam up front. Okay, nice. And I see it's got the to Dakota Digital Cluster. Yep. Which also had that in mind, I love that. Right, it's a must. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, it looks like you guys did what? What is that? A double din? Or? Yeah, so a double din, a touchscreen Sony head unit. Nice. And it's got a nice little five channel amp and subwoofer in the back. Okay. And you upgraded the cup holders. Yeah, got to do that. All these little touches, but it looks like. It has Apple CarPlay. Oh, it Android does. Android CarPlay, Auto. Yeah. yeah. So it looks like, you know, kind of what Ford would have built if they built a Fox body today, right. essentially, right. right? Yeah, I want to kind of bring it up to a modern spec and something you can hop in and drive. Absolutely. So that's what he's going to use it as, is just pretty much a cruiser now? Yeah, go on trips with his family. He likes to drive up to the mountains and take it around town on nice days. So. Nice. This is a perfect mountain car. I love it. I love the black and white. I've also got the white interior, but I like this head. I hate my style headrests. I yeah, really do. Yeah. These are much better, I think. So you guys have to replace this. Was this white before the back seat? Yeah, yeah, the seats were white. So okay. we, kept, we stayed with the white. And, cool. Uh, that, that's all new. Um, did you have it on the dyno yet? No, it has not been on the dyno okay. yet. Okay. So. And as far as tuning, I think, uh, what what do you use for tuning? It's, you don't have to take it to a dyno tuner. No, we have HP tuners for, okay. so for something like this. We can go in and tune it and adjust for the intake and other different parameters. Eventually, we talked about putting it on the dyno and having it dyno tuned. Okay. Um, but for right now, the, the factory tune that comes in the control pack from Ford worked pretty good. We adjusted it a little bit. Yeah, you can get it right, really. Yeah, yeah, there's not a lot to what it. What do you think it's making? Uh, what do they come out? I don't even know what the new Mustangs come out with, but I guess the Gen 3 is around 485 or something like that. Yeah, so the Gen 3s are supposed to be the most horsepower of all the generations out. I'd suspect this one to the wheels, you know, with the way it is, you know, un, somewhat untuned, it would right. be around 440, maybe 450 to the wheels. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. might be a little off on that. So pretty, too, but. pretty close to 500 at the crank, I would think. Yeah, yeah. about there, somewhere there. But for what, I mean, they came with 225 stock, so no matter what it is, I'm pretty sure he's happy with it. Yeah, it's going to be more than a heads cam intake too that you get from a 302. So. Right, right, and you get the reliability. The it just drive and it just drives so nice. Yeah, it's nice and smooth. Great power band. Yeah, but really, I mean, this is going to have so much more horsepower. It's going to be a perfect cruiser. I don't know if I'd even need a perfect dyno tune. He can get there, but it's going to be a lot of fun on the street, I think, right? Yeah, it's, good. it's got a great power band, so he's just going to really enjoy it. It'll, it'll handle the corners great, and it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's going to be the one thing I'm kind of excited about is we're going to take a ride in the car in just a minute, and my suspension is still like, it's not this. It's not Maximum Motorsports, so I'm really interested to see how it how it corners. But the other funny thing, Manier, I got to call out is your Our Dream Auto and Restoration. That used to be your official name. And you do a lot of things, you know, you do a lot of cars, but I see all Fox bodies here all the time. In fact, a lot more even than I brought my car. That's kind of become your new thing, right? Yeah, it's really taken off. And you know, when I started here seven years ago, we did a little bit of everything and we still do, but within the last year and, e and even before that, but really within the last year, Fox bodies have just taken over. Yeah. And you know, I'm fine with that. They're all over the shop and it yeah. seems to become our niche. And everyone in the shop is now very acquainted with Fox bodies, not just me. 
Yeah. So we really have a good system going on these cars. Well, and that's cool. I, I'm glad you mentioned that it's been the last year because, you know, I, I'm like, oh, that had to all be me. But I know it's not. <laughs> we have to give some props to Caleb, Foxcast Media as well. I know he's been pushing and you push. You're big in the Mustang community. So that's pretty cool. And the coolest thing is I give Dan, one of the owners here, a hard time about it. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, Dan, you have so many Fox bodies. He's like, yeah, I know. But he, he'll take them because they all, yep, they, they all. They, they pay the bills. Exactly. Yep. Very cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead. I think it's time right, we'll to take a ride. We'll shut the hood. And All right. Yeah. Maybe we'll put the top up. It might be a little chilly, yeah, guys. We'll put the top up. Right. You guys probably can't tell from the video, but we're actually filming. This is only like 50 degrees. I guess Maneer is better representing. I got my sweatshirt. Yeah. I'm here in short sleeves. All right. Guys, we're going to transition to into the car. All right. You ready? All right. Yeah. Let's hear it fire up. Not terribly it's loud. It's not actually inside. too no, loud. That was one thing he didn't want. And I can't blame them. I, yeah. You don't want to, your eardrums to rattle out. Uh, uh, what kind of mufflers uh, is the, that on? They're the Borla Pro XS. Okay, Borla's always been more of a, I feel like acceleration you hear more Yeah, on, yeah. Which is great. So it's got a catted, it's got BBK headers, BBK catted X pipe. Okay, it does have cats on it. Yep. Okay. And, and then uh, it's got three inch tailpipes with the Borla Pro XS mufflers. I didn't even notice, but the tailpipes, did they turn down? Yep, turn, just yeah. like factory, but, uh, but three inch. I love that. That's the one thing I kind of missed because I converted mine, you know, to the Cobra kit, or I didn't. You guys did. Right, right, right. Which it worked perfect on that bumper. Yeah. Oh, we look so good. I wish they could see. I just saw us across from the building, and you can see the car on the off the building, the reflection. It looks so good. It already rides better than mine. And for coilovers, it's very quiet. Usually yes. coilovers, you'll get a lot of noise. Okay. But these are my favorite for as far as coilovers go. I guess really on switches, it has subframe connectors? Yep. Okay. Yeah, full length subframe connectors. You gotta do that on the convertible. Yep. That's what, uh, yeah, absolutely. It's a, it goes out to the right as well. It goes all the way across yeah. to the sides. Yep, and then yeah, we took the factory bracing and welded it into the subframe connectors. So we actually did torque box reinforcements on did this you? car. Did okay. yeah. I actually don't know if mine are done or not. <laughs> Good thing to do on any Fox. Yeah, for convertible sure. Convertible or not. For sure. Yeah, it's so quiet, you would not know. You're basically sitting on 500 horsepower.
know, you know, uh, you know Ben ODB Cabri. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben the Destroyer. Ben Limer. He's, he's selling his car. I know. I saw that. He I just texted him. me today. Ben, why are you selling it? <laughs> Is it sold? Like he has a buyer? Uh, sure. He's got one on the line. It's not a done deal, but oh, it sounds wow. like it's 90%. Wow. I know he's been on the fence with it. And he did offer it to me first because I love that car. Yeah, yeah. But I have a Fox Body problem already. I like staying married. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> so, in fact, I was just talking to Maneer today about my SSP. Maybe it, I know it definitely needs to come over to you guys when we get to the subframe connectors. Yeah. I don't. I I've started welding, but uh, Matt and I don't have a good place to weld that stuff. So right. It's perfect. I feel like you can jump in it. And I know. I drive Blake, to the beach. Blake, I, I want your car. Can I have it for a weekend? <laughs> I still got to work out the bugs in mine. We'll get there. Blake did an awesome job picking out parts, and we had a. We both had kind of the same ideas, and. And it turned out to be a really nice yeah, car. Yeah, glad you brought that up because I really said, you know, you, you built it, but really he had a ton of input and customers get that and what he wanted, right? Right, right. And it makes it easy. He knew what he wanted and we were able to build him that. It wasn't a lot of back and forth or a bunch of ideas and changing plans. We kind of stuck to a plan and we're able to get it done. And when you change plans a lot, it takes a lot longer. But yeah, like some people come in there, they don't even know what color they want to paint their car and they make you like choose three or four different samples. I remember that. Who does that? I, I, I don't know. I remember this one guy. The best part was guys, <laughs> I did it in black and white on the channel and then he sent me the first pictures of the car and he sent it to me black and yep, white. Yeah, <laughs> I, I had like, to, I don't okay. have any other choice. Yeah, I was like, all right, that's fair. <laughs> I'm sure you were doing that just in case it got intercepted, yep, right? Yeah, yeah. Not because <laughs> he'd be a jerk to me like I was to you. <laughs> really to the viewers. What were the other options here though, besides the uh, Coyote? Did you guys talk about anything? Yeah, else? we talked about staying with the original motor and you know, the different options. You it know, was high mileage too, right? Yeah, whether just rebuild it or put a set of heads on it. And he really just wanted it reliable. You know, there's you could put a blower on it to get the horsepower he wanted. He didn't want to build the whole car and have all this money in it and it not be able to get out of his own way. Yeah. So that's kind of what led to the Coyote being the best option for him. All right, guys, we're gonna get on the highway here. Yeah, it does. Yeah, I'm curious how many RPMs we'd be at, like highway cruising speed. Yeah, so that's about 70, a little under 70, and about 2,100, 2,000 RPM. That's good. Yeah. yeah. What's your red line kind of on these? So these Gen 3s, I, I'd have no problem taking it to 7,500. Yeah, see, that's a lot box different. Body, I'm shifting like 6,000. Oh, we better be shifting, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a lot different than a small block four. Yeah. And he could always, if he wanted to, uh, add a turbo or a whip hole or something like yeah, that, right? Yeah, yeah. It'll take it, basically. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's a state trooper. Uh, see? We just passed a state trooper, so you did the right thing. Yeah. Don't abuse the customer car. Nope. <laughs> That's for Blake to do tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, Blake, be sure you put that up on Instagram whenever you drive it. We want to see that. <laughs> if not tomorrow, at some point, love to see that. And it just smells like a new car, too. <laughs> right. Yeah, you guys just did the paint on mine. You didn't do everything, so I'm getting the full effects here. Yeah. He's not going to know what to do. What do you think he's going to do? He... I don't know. I, 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 I think he's very excited. I mean, he hasn't had the car in his possession in a long time. No, no less drive it. Right. I mean, really, it was in storage 15 years, so he didn't even yeah. touch it then, really, no, right? No. No, he'd come every every couple of weeks or so and get to see the progress. Did he check on the progress? Yeah, okay, that's yeah. cool. You mean he didn't bother you like once or twice a week? No, <laughs> no. Between no updates. <laughs> Damn, you just know I'm coming to the shop. We haven't really done anything, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does ride better than, now I've got my ball joints are worn out and I need new tie rod ends, but this rides way better than my Fox. Yeah. It, I thought it would be really rough for the uh, Maximum Motorsports because it's a racing extension. This is not bad. No, and it's got the Coney adjustable shocks and okay. I actually haven't even touched the adjustment on it's them. It's just the factory, which is kind of the middle, right? Yeah, it's in the middle. So you could go a little softer or go a little firmer. This is not too hard for me. No, and it's really great. Over bumps, there's no noise. It's, it's really nice setup. Nice. You're going to enjoy this car, Blake. You're going to enjoy this car. There you have it, guys. That was a lot of fun. And really, I was surprised at how well it rode, especially with the aftermarket suspension. I was expecting it to be a lot rougher. That's probably what surprised me the most. But I think that might be the first Coyote car I've actually ridden in. I can't remember, but it definitely pulls hard and it's just a great car. It's going to be a great highway cruiser and just weekend warrior for, uh, for Blake there. So Blake, 
congrats on the car i'm sure you're gonna love it and for you guys i hope you did enjoy this video as well we had it on the channel before so it's just cool to see it complete and come to fruition fully on the channel if you are looking for somebody to do this kind of work for you our dream definitely hit them up as far as that performance stuff i will have their contact information down in the description below so if you're looking for some aftermarket performance work like that let them know Anyway, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to the channel because I'm gonna have a lot more coming, like I said, on my Tar Heel Fox, a convertible. I'm gonna have the first ride coming soon as well as some other stuff, so stay tuned for that. But if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time here on Gearhead 704.